Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your twin flame check-in for April. I know I'm late, guys. I do apologize, but I am here now. So let's hop in. Let it be great, of course. Let's see what is coming in for you all. This is general. This is a collective reading. It is for all of the zodiac signs. All right. Please only take what resonates with you. Do not force it to fit with your situation. All righty. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me or like a twin flame reading with me, you guys can do so on my website, fireintuition.com, or you guys can check the description box below. All righty. I'm also launching a twin flame webinar. Um, do check it out. The link is below. Um, that is on April the 29th. Um, yeah, it's the 29th. Yeah, April the 29th. So if you guys are interested in that, the link is below. Alrighty, so let's hop in. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, do subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you guys are notified when I do upload content. Let's see. Let's see. And if you guys haven't already, please do check out my new online store. I just launched 11 new products. So I have some um, oils, some new spiritual oils, like money and love oil. I have some crystal infused oil rollers and spiritual baths. And I'm adding some new stuff this weekend. So do look out for my sale. All right. So let's see what we got for you all. Twin Flame Energy for April. Let's see what their current energy is at. Twin Flame messages for the collective for April. See what their energy is currently at. All right, three messages came out. All right, so we have I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. So, for some of you guys, they probably are doing this, um, reaching out to mutual friends, asking about you, seeing how you're doing. Um, for others of you, it's like this is what they want to do because they're trying to get in contact with you or they just want to know what you're up to. All right, I couldn't go against my family to be with you. So for some of you guys, they felt as if they couldn't go against their family to be with you, okay? So they could be married, committed, or, you know, just they were maybe in a long-term relationship and they felt like they couldn't go against their family or they felt as if they um, couldn't divorce or separate from their husband or wife to be with you. And then we have, I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it, all right? So this person is feeling lost right now, okay? They could be all in their thoughts right now, just... Maybe they're they're just all over the place. Maybe they're everywhere right now. And they just they just can't seem to figure things out. But just going back to I couldn't go against my family to be with you. And then they feel lost without you. So someone feels like you're home to them. But they already had a situation. And they felt like they couldn't go against that. They felt like they were wrong if they went against that situation. Um, and they are wanting to contact your mutual friends. They might even have someone contact you, okay? Maybe you're close to like family member, a friend of theirs at the bottom. I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul, okay? So someone misses you a lot. Like I feel like when you guys see each other, you guys can stare in each other's eyes and they just feel connected to you. Um, let's see what the overall energy is. Let's see. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me? So they want to know, do you still love them? All right. Their spirit is always with you. Could you feel me? Can you feel me? So I feel like this person, I'm not going to say they're pulling on you energetically, but I feel like, um, I feel like this person does words of affirmation. I feel like they manifest you. I feel like they stare at your pictures. You know, I feel like they're doing things to like pull your energy towards them so that you can stay and be connected to them. Okay, um, so yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so I want to contact our mutual friend to ask about you. So let's see what's going on. We have ascending, transcending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So they're overcoming some type of obstacles. 
They're overcoming something that they felt was blocking or stopping this relationship from coming together. That's what they feel. Or that's how they feel. And they're wanting to reach out to people that know you or that you guys both know because they're trying to see what's going on with you. Have you moved on? You know, are you with someone? Are you in a relationship now? Um, I couldn't go against my family to be with you. Let's see what this is about. We have the snake. Competition, envy. No, I'm sorry. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. So, you guys were in a third party situation. And for most of you guys, the other, like, their husband or wife knew about you. And it caused problems and issues in the relationship. And they had to make a decision. They had to choose. So, they chose their family over the relationship between the two of you guys. So, they chose... They chose to stay in their marriage or their commitment or whatever their situation may have been, okay? Um, and then for others of you, they just, they kind of felt like the person they were with, they didn't trust. I'm not going to say, well, for some of you, yes, but I feel like they didn't, they didn't know what that person was capable of for some of you guys. And they felt like it was just best to just end things and to stay with their family, stay in their situation. Um, so I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it. So let's see date meeting someone new dating getting back out there plan instead of date so they want to see you they're going to reach out to you they want to see you they want to meet up with you this person wants to see you they want to set something up like they want to see like they want to talk they want to meet up with you and see what's going on with you how's life been what's been going on since we talked but they actually want to like take you on a date Okay, um, let's hop into this reading, guys. Let's hop in. All right, let's see. Twin Flame Energy for the Collective for April. Page of Cups reverse. How do they feel about you? Two of Cups. What is the current challenge between you guys? Ten of Pentacles reverse. Man. What is the blockage currently? The Magician. I told you someone trying to manifest you back in, or you're trying to manifest them back in, but there's still something blocking this, so it's some, so it may not be manifesting right this moment. Um, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to clarify. Okay, this is the blockage, the magician. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's look in their hidden feelings. The Knight of Swords. At the bottom, we have the Four of Wands. That's definitely Twin Flame energy. But as you can see on this deck, there's no couple. Okay. You know, usually the Four of Wands has a couple. They're celebrating. They're happy. So... This is a twin flame connection, but it has not come together yet. You guys aren't like you guys haven't come into union yet. Okay. Um, so let's see what's going on. So we have temperance coming up in reverse. Okay, and someone is all over the place. Like they are definitely like losing it. Okay. Could be a Sagittarius. We have temperance in reverse with the with the fortune that's heavy Sagittarius energy. And this is where their mind is at. So like they are like they're all over the place. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, the fact that you guys separated, the fact that you guys aren't like talking, the fact that you guys aren't together is bothering them with this temperance card in reverse. Yeah, see the two of pentacles are back and forth. You know, one minute they're fine, one minute they're just like they're this is a, an emotional roller coaster. Like they are just all over the place emotionally. They're trying to find balance, they're trying to get themselves together. They, like I said, for some of you guys, it's like they hate the fact that you guys had to separate or end things or that you guys aren't together, aren't seeing each other. The king of swords is here. They think about you a lot. They think about the future. They think about what you guys could have, where you guys could be. This is someone that wants to open up and speak some truth, but the king of swords has a sword down. So this person is still thinking. They're putting her, like, it's like they're preparing themselves. Like, they're, they're, 
they it's like they don't know just what they're gonna say yet or they don't know what they're gonna say just yet um they're preparing themselves they're gonna open up they're gonna talk to you because they can't keep dealing with this like this energy is bothering you they're annoyed they're frustrated yep see the will of fortune they feel like this is destined the will of fortune is here twice they want a second chance they feel like this is destined they feel like you guys are meant to be they feel like you guys should have never separated okay um and then we have the nine of wands okay this has been an ongoing battle they're wounded they're hurt right now they're upset at how things um you know ended or what happened between you guys whatever plans they have for this relationship or whatever plans you guys had that didn't work out and they are just they're they're upset you know and All I have to say is this person is very emotional. And we know the king of swords sometimes is not emotional. And that's why the sword is down. So they can definitely be holding back their feelings. But I want to know why they... Let's go into this nine of wands and take. Let's see why they feel like this. Uh-oh. The tower. So they're giving up on a relationship or um, they're going through a separation or a divorce. Or that's what they're thinking about. Because that nine of wands is like, it's someone that is drained. You know, it's someone that is like, it's a constant battle in a relationship. Like they are constantly arguing or going through something with someone. And this person is in a relationship because we saw that. Okay. Um, Scorpio energy. So the tower with this nine of wands, king of swords is there. I want to go into this nine of wands one more time. Sorry guys. Ten of swords reverse, nine of wands reverse, yay. Okay, I was just about to say that. Someone is definitely giving up. They're ready to just end something. They don't care how it makes the other person feel. I feel like they care, but they don't. Someone's been playing victim. Someone's been blaming someone, making that person feel bad. And with the nine of wands, this person is just like, you know what? I'm done compromising. Like, you know, like I just, I need to walk away from this relationship. Someone's giving up. Someone is like, I can't fight this anymore. I can't fight with them anymore. I can't fight in this relationship or this marriage anymore. And someone is just ready to start over. Someone is just ready to just walk away. And that's what they're dealing with. And that's where their mind is at. So we have the will of fortune for where their heart is at in this connection. So they feel like, like this is something that's destined. Okay? And the five of wands is here. And they can't fight their feelings anymore. Okay? The five of wands, like, that's like inner conflict, fighting with themselves, fighting with other people. They can be fighting and arguing with other people about you. Okay? Um, yep, see the four of cups in reverse. They want to just... They are, they're ready to come towards you. They want to be with you. Four of Cups are reverse is moving on, getting out of an emotional rut, getting, you know, um, getting out of the past, moving, moving on, going towards the future. Um, they want to move forward with you for sure. Why is this Four of Cups here? Reverse. Yep, the Magician, they're manifesting this to come back together. The Magician is here twice and the Wheel of Fortune is here twice. I wouldn't be surprised if both of you guys were doing this. Like, both of you guys could be manifesting the other person back in. Both of you guys could be feeling or thinking this is like, like you you feel or think that this is destined. You feel it or think as if this person is the one. Um, so, you guys are kind of both in the same energy. There's just distance and separation between you guys. All right. So, let's put a romance angel really quick and see something where their heart is at. Where's our heart at? Let's see. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. See, in this person, like they feel they still feel connected to you. They still want to get to know you. They feel like there's more, like they feel like there's more to this. Like they feel like they didn't get a chance. Like they feel like they didn't get a fair chance to know you or to build or grow or have something with you. And it's because they were healing family issues. See, someone was married or committed or in a relationship or had children or um yeah, because they said they could, they, their family, they chose their family over you. Now, if someone wasn't married or in a long-term relationship, it's like they chose their family. Their family didn't like you. Um, there was issues, 
you know, with the families, you guys not getting along. And so they just chose their family over you because they're like, oh, blood is thicker than water. It could be something like that. You need to know you. Yeah, I see the king of wands. So someone actually, the, the king of wands is someone taking action towards a relationship, ready to pursue the relationship. Someone that's determined with that king of wands. This is future energy coming in. Well, energy in the near future that's coming in. That's where their heart is at. So this person is preparing themselves to come to you. And they're going to like take action. This is like someone finally stepping up, taking action. The king of wands. And they're using that fiery energy. So that's good. So. Yeah, someone's about to be ready to take. Like they're ready to take action. Or they're about to take action. Okay. Um, whoever you guys are dealing with. So we do have this page of cups in reverse though. And this is how they feel about the connection. But the page of cups in reverse can be someone obsessed. It can be someone stop, you know, like, it's like this person is either obsessed or it's like they think about you constantly, but they're not telling you. They're holding back how they feel. So let's see. Why does it say the cups in reverse? Pay the pentacles. Mm, they feel like, okay, so they're coming in with an offer. But how they feel about the connection is they feel like what they're offering, it may not be enough for you. Um, but it's the start of something. And they feel like you're not going to be receptive to what they're offering or what they're giving. Um, or if they do open up and express to you, oh, you see why? Because for some of you guys, they're still in a relationship. See? And how they feel about the connection is they want to offer and give to you. They think about you a lot, but they're still in a relationship. And then for others of you, they actually do want to marry you and be the person that, you know, is in your life. Like, they actually want to marry you and be with you. But it's like what they're offering when they come back just may not be enough and you may tell them no you're like no this is just not enough or no you're still married or no you're still with that person once of the four of wands eight of pentacles yeah someone's still in a relationship see and there's still a delay and you guys coming together with the hangman pisces energy yeah the queen of swords someone could be going through a divorce but there's still some type of delay someone could be going through a separation but there's still a delay or someone's going through a breakup because i know all of you i know everyone is not married um, but it's like someone's going through a separation. Um, once of the swords, and you may cut this person off when they come back. Or oh, that's how they feel. They feel like you're going to reject them. Yep. See, this is that person coming back. Knight of Cups reverse. This is them from your past or them coming back. Um, sorry, guys. Yeah, this is them coming back. And then we have the Ace of Swords to speak some truth. They want to start over. This is this is like a redo, starting over with the Ace of Swords. But there's still a relationship here. How do they feel about you? We have the two of cups. So this person still feels very um, much connected to you. The two of cups is here. They feel like you're their soulmate twin flame. Like they feel like you guys are supposed to be together. They feel like you guys are meant to be. The die on the card is staring in the girl's eyes. So like this, like you saw the card at the bottom of the deck. So they can't wait to stare into your eyes and your soul or something like that. So this person can't wait to see you and stare in your eyes. See the lovers. They feel like you are like their person for sure. Like, they feel that. They know that. Like, four pentacles reverse. But they know they have to break things off with someone in order for you guys to be together. They know they have to shed the old, get rid of the past, get rid of the old, in order for you guys to actually have something and start over or come together. Why the four pentacles reverse? Yep, see the ace of cups. Yeah. So, and yeah. And they, for some of you guys, they know you're not going to accept their offer if they're still in a relationship or a commitment or a marriage. But the love is mutual between the two of you guys. With this Ace of Cups of Lovers and the Two of Cups. And for some of you, like, you can't wait till they end things with someone. Look at all the look at all these emotions and feelings coming out of that Ace of Cups. So, like, like this is, like, just overflow of emotions. The dove is there. They, the dove has a pentacle in its mouth. That would be the union coming together. 
I feel like your angels or someone is trying to bring you guys together. It just may take a little bit more time. Okay, so let's see how do they feel about you. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So they're staying open, open to this. Like they're staying open. They're staying optimistic. Um, they're thinking and being and speaking positive about this. You guys are in separation. Yep. See, time apart for your partners on the horizon. And for some of you guys, they're going through a separation. Yep. See, for some of you guys, they're going through a separation. Something's coming to an ending or a completion. Like something's ending. And see, you're the person that is in their near future. Our future is see, we have the king of wands. All right. So the king and queen of wands is like future energy, like going towards a future focus on the future. So it's like they're ending something in like you're it's like something's coming to an ending. And all they know is that you're in their future. You're in their near future. They are coming like they just they're ready for you guys to just come out of separation. And they're staying optimistic. They, they're staying open. They're thinking and being and speaking positive about this. Or this can be you guys. Because, you know, I don't just say like divine masculine or divine feminine because why we embody both energies. So, um, yeah, this looks, um, different. All right. So, I want to go into this Queen of Wands really quick. What is the energy of this Queen of Wands? A year from now something happened a year ago okay or something's gonna happen within a year so something happened around this time last year okay you guys could have separated ended maybe you met this person around this time last year um, and now it's like you guys are coming back together for others of you something's gonna happen but it's gonna happen within a year from now okay this person is asking for help from others because they're trying to figure things out they don't know how they should move forward they're trying to move forward with you Whatever they're doing, whoever they've been talking to, they're not stopping. It says don't stop. And they're not. I feel like they're, they're focused on some type of ending. They're focused on ending something. They're focused on something coming to an ending is what I'm also getting. Why is a year from now here? See, judgment. They couldn't make a decision in the past. And now they're making a decision now. Something happened about a, something happened a year ago. And they're calling judgment on that. Ask for help from others. See, five of wands. This can be um, family and friends that they're going to. I don't see the five of wands as negative, but I also, well, I don't see it as negative, but I see it as like they may be talking to too many people about the situation and everyone has a different opinion and it's just further confusing them. Okay. Yeah. See the ace of cups. They, whoever they're talking to are telling, like everyone knows that you love them or that they love you. Everyone knows that, you know, you guys like each other or they're just telling everyone that they love you. They're confused. They don't know what to do. How should they move forward? Yeah, see the three of pentacles reverse. They also may be telling people that, you know, um, you may not be open to compromising with them. They also may be telling people that they thought the grass was greener on the other side, and it's not. And even though they were married and had children, you know, it's like they kind of settled. They felt obligated. They felt like they had to say or be in that situation. It's going to be different for all of you guys, okay? Um, but I just feel like they're talking to too many people and getting too many opinions. And they should just either go to someone that has been in their situation that can actually help them and give them guidance, or they should just follow and trust their own intuition, okay? Because it's like, it's further confusing them for some of you guys. It's like they're an inner conflict, like they don't know what to do, you know? Um, so we have the Ten of Pentacles coming up in reverse, and this is the challenge. So the challenge between you guys is that you wanted a commitment. You wanted something solid, stable. They can offer or give you that with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone that can offer or give you a relationship or a commitment. For others of you, the challenge was they stayed with someone due to financial reasons. Or they could have been with someone for money. Or um, they felt like if they ended something with someone that they were going to take, you know, all their money. So we have a Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups. But see, this person has an I don't care energy now. Because whatever was stopping them, whatever was blocking you guys, whatever the challenge was, they don't care anymore. They're still coming towards you to see you. They still want to reconnect. They still want to see you with that Three of Cups. The Knight of Swords, they're still going to, like, you know, reach out to you. This is unexpected communication coming in. 
Three of Cups. See, wow, look. The King of Wands. See? And there was a Queen of Wands. The King of Wands came up twice. That's <laughs> the King of Wands. This person is not playing. They're taking action. This person is like, you know what? I don't care about the past. I don't care about this, that, that. I know who I want to be with. I know who I want to go towards. So their energy is definitely shifting. And they're in the fire energy despite their sign. So they're taking action and they're going after what they want. Okay? For sure. Now, let's see. We have the magician here. And this is in their hidden feelings. So this person is definitely trying to manifest you back into the life, whether it's with um, words of affirmation, um, looking at your picture. Um, someone is praying for this to come back together. Yeah, they're praying for this to come back together. Um, let's see. See, look, Ace of Pentacles. I'm stopping there. Ace of Pentacles, that's the offer. That's the year from now. The Ace of Pentacles, it represents one year. Something happened a year ago for a lot of you guys. Or you guys went through this a year ago. And it's finally coming back around. It's not over with the death card reverse. It's over between them and someone else. But it's not over between you and this person. See, two of wands. Yeah. So, yeah. Two of wands is about a decision being made. Okay. Um, are they just on a new path? Like, they're just ready to start something new. The globe is in their hand. They know who they want to be with. They have their hand on the wand. The grass is green in the background. The sky is clear. So that's like confirmation for them. Like they, they know. They're like, I feel so much better in this other situation with this other person in this other relationship. So that's what I'm getting for the twin flame energy. Um, so I will be extending this reading. Okay. Um. I usually don't look into the karmic situation because I don't care about looking into the karmic situation, not to say it like that, but I might look into the karmic situation. I'm going to look at their intentions towards this connection. Um, I'm going to look to see what's stopping and like blocking you guys. Um, if this is, you know, if this relationship is, um, hmm, what else should I ask? I'm just going to see like, are you guys coming closer to union? Um, you know, like I'm just going to go with the flow, but you guys already know on my gum road, like, I always put the questions that I ask in the description. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just going to go with the flow and see. But I am going to ask those questions, though. Those, those three questions for sure. The karmic situation, their intentions, and, um, you know, are you guys um, coming closer to union? It just all depends. I don't know. But let's see. We have, look, wow, look what came out with the Wheel of Fortune twice. For a lot of you guys, this is destined. This is destined. This is meant to happen. Okay? Um, let's see. You guys can be dealing with a dark male. Okay? Or you can be a dark male. We have soulmates. Alrighty? So there is some type of soulmate twin flame connection here. Um, let's see. Two, two more messages for the collective. Courting man. Okay, so remember I told you this person wants to take you out on a date. So someone wants to set up a date. Someone wants to court you, take you out, spend some time with you. And then we have spiritual growth. Someone is going through some type of transition, some type of transformation. Okay? You challenge this person to want to be a better person. And There, you could be going through something spiritually as well, but I feel like you guys are more spiritual than this person. Let's see why this spiritual growth card is here. Gossip. Yep. You helped this person grow and evolve because there was gossip about this relationship. There was gossip because there was new love. Remember I told you guys, the person that you were dealing with or are dealing with, their person knew about you. And there was a lot of gossip and rumors. Okay? And this person was either conditioned or... This person just had certain beliefs like, oh, I'm not supposed to leave my marriage. I'm not supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to do that. Or people were gossiping, word got out that you guys were together. And I feel like you challenge him, but you also help awaken this person. Okay? They're overcoming that. They're ready for new love. They could have been young in the past or they just acted young. Maybe they acted kind of immature, childish. Maybe they were acting young, childish, or immature in how they handled the situation between you guys. Um, I just want to go into gossip. And then I'm going to go into spiritual growth too. Why is gossip here? Yeah, so the gossip caused distance between you guys. See, because there was a love triangle. 
Yep. So there was some gossip and it created distance between you guys. Are you like kind of cut this person off? Going to spiritual growth one more time. Yep. See, true love. See? Yeah. So there's true love here, but you challenge this person. And this person had to go through their challenges in order for you guys to actually come together. Whatever they had to go through or whatever they've been going through or whatever they needed to go through, they've been going through that or doing that since you guys separated. So like I said, something happened about a year ago. And with the spiritual growth card, see the, the star. They needed to heal. True love and a star with destiny. That for some of you guys, this is definitely a twin flame connection. No doubt. This is this is definitely a twin flame connection. This is definitely a twin flame connection for a lot of you guys. All right. So let's see what's in the middle of the deck. See, there goes that young male. Let's see. One to the young male. Yep, see, he was child, this person was childish and immature, childish and immature in how he handled the situation, okay? So, it's like this person is like, they had a lot of growing up to do. But yeah, this is definitely a twin flame connection. And this person is praying for, this person is praying for this relationship to come back together. Alrighty, so that's what I do have for you guys, um, for the twin flame check-in. I will be extending this reading. I will see you guys all on the other side. I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye, loves.